In this video, I'm going to teach you some ways to get back your lost rankings in Google. Now, it will depend on why you lost the rankings, because it could be due to a manual penalty, competitors targeting the page that are more authoritative, they could be building links, or they could be doing click-through rate manipulation. So what I'm going to do is share some of the things you can do if you've just lost your position over time due to Google basically just wanting a newer page to rank, as that's the most common reason I've found over the years. So if you saw the previous video that I made, uh, you'll probably know some of this stuff, but I'll just take you through some of the data from it. Basically, I was testing out whether or not changing the publish date would improve the rankings if, if, it was, if that was enough to indicate freshness to Google. And it didn't seem to be, but it did seem to help. So you have to do that and a bunch of other things. This particular uh, client right here that I was working on, I updated the title and the meta description. I changed the publish date, added H2s and H3s. I added images, added FAQs with schema markup, um, internal links. I styled the content and shared it on Facebook and Twitter, which gets the you know clicks and engagement up. Um, so check that video out if you haven't already seen it. That's going to give context to what I'm about to do. Now, what I've done, I've had a look in Search Console. This is on top marketing.agency. It's my agency's website, which I've really not been working on for the last few months. I've left it while I've been building out other projects and working on client stuff, so I've not put much attention into this. Um, and if we look, there's a few pages here where over the last three months, if we compare, uh, we lost quite a bit of traffic here. So this one in particular, CSS Aspect Ratio Calculator, has lost 200-odd. Um... This one, the average cost of SEO was lost 95. So the aspect ratio calculator, I think, would be a bit easier to get back than this one. But the, I'll show you this one because there's more I can do. This page right here is actually quite good. Obviously, it's got commercial intent. So it's one that I want, whereas the other one's a nothing keyword, really. Um, but yeah, I used to get a bunch of stuff on this. So if we click on this and have a look at the keywords, so we go down. So how much does SEO cost, SEO prices UK, SEO cost per month UK, all of these sort of keywords um, I was getting more traffic on. So this is the page that I built out. Um, I built this out, I remember it's a really nice day and I sat in here, it was really nice and sunny outside and I sat and wrote this, about 3,000 words or so. Um, so the article's good, the information's still the same, there's nothing to really change about it. Um, what's happened is the content that's come out so this is one of the keywords, for example, how much does SEO cost UK? Um, these guys have created something uh, about a similar sort of time, uh, I believe, but they've built some really good links to it. There's some other newer sort of content that's come out, um, and Google was just trying out these different things above uh, my page, which is right here. So if we have a look with the Ahrefs plugin, I've got 10 backlinks. These people have got six. These people have got three. These people have got nine. And then these people, number one, have got 66. Um, and they've got some links when I was just looking through here uh, from places like HubSpot. Um, and they've been buying links all over the place. So they obviously really want that keyword. Um, so I thought I would just show you some of the things that I would do to get this back. Basically, uh, I'm just going to pause it while I log in and I'll show you. Right, so the first thing that I would do straight away is I now use this plugin here, Table of Contents. Um, if you don't know about this plugin, definitely get it. Just search for Table of Contents. What it basically does, I'll update it and I'll show you, is it adds in a bunch of uh, different IDs throughout the page. Um, that's not showing, let's refresh. Right here. And if you look on the bottom left of the screen right now, it's got the URL forward slash hashtag is SEO the best use of your monthly marketing budget. Um, so each of these gets its own little bit. Now this really helps to rank for more keywords. Some of these will show up in the SERP. Um, when you look in Search Console, you'll see these in there because um, it's a really good way of showing exactly what the content's about and um, really breaking it up. So this is a really good plugin to get. So I'll definitely have that on there. The next thing, and that's what the video I've advised you to watch tells you about, is I would change this publish date to uh, today. So that's the next thing. The reason for that is because on, if I update this, I'll just show you. On the home page of my agency site right here, we have um, recent articles. So what that means is now I have an internal link to this post from the home page now go into that which is going to pass over that authority because your home page is going to be the one that gets the most links you've got you know um 
whether it's directories, you know, for citations or whether it's client websites and you've got website design by on top marketing or whatever it is, um, your homepage is usually going to attract the most links. So uh, I'd have it there. It also means we're going to get people click through. So I obviously do get people search for on top marketing. They're going to hit this page. They're going to click here and go through, which whenever you can send traffic somewhere, it's going to help it rank in Google. The next thing, obviously, as some of you might have noticed, is that it's 2021 now and I've got 2020 here, so I'll change that. That's going to help for the click-through rate because in the SERP, when we look here, and it says uh, average prices in UK 2020, that looks outdated now. And when we see right here the date, it says 26th of July 2020. A lot of people are going to look at that and think, I want to know what it is in 2021, right? So we're going to change that. Right, the next thing that we want to do is we want to add more content to this because if we actually look in the SERP, something that you'll notice, and I would usually use a tool like Page Optimizer Pro or something to do this, but I'm not really that bothered about ranking for this at the moment because I can't take on any more work. We are running at our maximum capacity, so right now everything is, you know, any new leads that come through are going to be added to a waiting list because I just can't deal with it at the moment. Um, so I'm not going to bother going through that, but as you notice when you scroll down, number one's really long. Number number two is pretty long. Number three is really long. So we know that, okay, and number four, same thing, is really long. So we know that Google's looking for a lot of content. Now, it's not as good as it used to be, but if you add schema FAQ um, to the page, you can usually make your listing bigger. So you'll end up with FAQs appear underneath your listing. I've done other videos about this. You can find them on the channel. Um, it doesn't always show anymore, but it's still worth doing. Um, it's adding schema to the page, which I've always seen make a positive impact. So that's the next thing that I would do. If you're on WordPress, it's really quite easy because all you need to do is if you've got Yoast, it's got it built in. Um, so if you find an appropriate pay place on the page uh, to do it, so how to choose um, this trap. Here we go. So underneath here, I'll just put frequently asked questions sorry just typing around my mic frequently asked questions I'll change that to a h2 and then if we click here we can do FAQs now I'm going to show you the way that I'll find these so basically I'll do a search for the keyword and have a look down if it's got a people also ask section here then that would be a great way to find it but it don't so I'm going to take off the UK and see if that gives anything no, it doesn't so I'm just gonna go for SEO cost and see if it gives us any people also asked here we go it had it there for a second and it jumped over it here we go how much is SEO per month how much does SEO cost is SEO worth the money why is SEO so expensive okay so I'm gonna get notepad I'll go with that one uh, I'll go with that one oops uh, why is it so expensive I'll go with that one Maybe I will, although uh, I'll think about that. So then what you can also do is if you click on these and then close them, you can get a new set of ones that are similar to the one you just clicked on. Uh, so it's going to load in more. How long does Google SEO take? That's a good That's a good question. I'll go with that one. I only really want to do four of these. I don't really want to spend too much time on it. How do I budget? How many hours does SEO take? Okay, so I've got how much is SEO per month? Is SEO worth the money? Why is SEO so expensive? I'm going to see if there's a different one for that because I don't really want to get traffic with people that are asking that question. If they're asking a question like that, they don't see the value in it. It's going to be a waste of time getting them on here, to be honest. How do I know my SEO is working? Does SEO really work? Is SEO important in 2020? Okay, I'll go with that one. So I'm going to get rid of the expensive. I'll paste that in there. So now straight away, I've got four questions that I can do. I'm just going to tidy it up a bit. SEO, SEO... Here we go. So now I can copy that, go into here, paste that into that one, add another question. If you're wondering how I'm copying without right clicking, I've got a button on my mouse that I changed to be uh, control C whenever I press it. Okay. All right. So now I've got those in there. What I'm going to do now is just pause the video while I write out the answers. Alright, so I've wrote out the FAQs here. One thing that I should point out is this question, is SEO important in 2020? Uh, we should change that to 2021. We should also do a quick search for 2020 to see if it's anywhere else in the article, which it isn't, so it's only mentioned there. 
There, there, and down there. So that's good. Right, now going back to here, what I want to do, so if I publish this, I'll show you what ha what it looks like. So just publishing this as it is um, means that it looks like that, which is fine, but we can make it a hell of a lot better. So if I click advance, paste this class in here, click on update, and then wait until that finishes. Like that. Now if I refresh, we'll have this really nice looking accordion. If you want this to happen on your website, check out my video where I explain exactly how that happens. You can ask in the comments if you want me to link it. If not, you can find it. Um, so that's that part as well on there now. So we've got FAQs. I'm not sure how many words that is, but let's say it's probably about 150 or so. So we've got more words here. We've got a new heading as well, which is great. Another thing that I should do is also go in and just change some of these, um, some of the styling around a little bit on this. So put some things in bold, put some things in italics, just so that I'm showing Google that there has actually been updates made to this content. If I had more time, I would probably rewrite some of this but um, and try and improve upon it. But it's really not a priority for me right now. I'm just trying to give an example to you guys. Um, so let's say this right here. This, this is because there won't be any, uh, many of any bottom of the funnel keywords you can rank for the keyword. So let's put this in bold, and then as we keep going down, these cheap SEO providers don't have the budget to perform the job efficiently. Let's put this bit in bold. Uh, let's keep going down. Lots of stuff's already in bold here. Here's a bit that doesn't. So is there anything? Basically, I'm trying to find anything that's important here. Things that if someone was skimming, I'd like them to know so they can understand what they're searching for. So. Um, go, Okay, this is quite interesting. Let's do that. Uh, this is okay. This is also important for them to understand. Uh, this could go in italics as it's kind of like a quote. Uh, my theme be very expensive. Okay, let's go with that part. So you get the idea. I'm not going to do too much. I'll just do one more um, here. So let's just say this part penalized by blah, blah. Let's grab this. Okay, let's put work. Let's do this whole bit here, actually. So let's go with that. So that's there. So now if we update this. So now our content is updated a little bit more as well. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and share this across social media. Okay, so I'm just going to post this on my company's Facebook page. There's not millions of people on here, but I've got, I don't know, 100 or so uh, people follow this, I believe. Um, I can't remember now. But anyway, post them on that on there. Same thing on Twitter. I'll just post the exact same thing. The point of this is that this will get some people to click through to it people that are following are going to click through so we're going to get an instant boost of traffic to that page um this can help rankings is something that i've seen with my own eyes make a big difference is something also that craig campbell who's someone if you're not following you should be often talks about as well um so it's another little thing to get it in there like that and then finally the last thing we want to do is just grab this url now that we've done everything that you've just seen me do um we've got the publish date updated and everything like that when we come down, it's showing it right there. We want to go into Search Console and just get this re-indexed. Okay, and now that we've done that, that's pretty much all. So what I would do from here, if this was the keyword that I was actually trying to get, I would watch this now over the next month and see if that bumps it up. If it doesn't, the next thing that I would be looking at doing is because in a Hrefs number one has got a bunch of links that they've bought that are on decent websites, I would potentially look at building more links to the page to make it more authoritative. If that didn't work after a few months, I would also then look at the uh, word count and try and make sure that I'm an average of the top three. I'd probably use Page Optimizer Pro for that um, to get the the to make sure that my numbers are right. Um, and then from there, it would just be keep tweaking it until I eventually get it. That, to be honest, is probably going to be enough to move me up. If you want to check it out, do a search. Make sure you change it to UK when you're searching. If you're in you know India or America or Canada, where most of the people who watch me seem to be from. Uh, and let me know in the comments down below how it's getting on because uh, it's not one that I'll be watching so let me know it would be good to bring it to my attention uh, so yeah hopefully this helped this is definitely worth trying I do this on client accounts you can see that other video the last one I uploaded if you want evidence of that proof of that um, so yeah 
hopefully you took something from this. If you did, make sure to hit like, subscribe to the channel for more, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you in the next one.